back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ticker symbol sndl i have not invested in sndl but got a lot of comments from subscribers and viewers to review this stock so i'm going to talk about sndl the stock is trading at one dollar and 13 cents precisely in this video i'll be talking about three things the first one is the stock price volume and some of the technical analysis that i believe it will help you making informed financial decision if you want to trade into the stock or not the second thing is some of the pros and cons about investing in SNDL at the moment and the company in general. And the third thing is a lot of people are talking about can SNDL can go to $5, $5 to $10 level. So we'll be talking about whether SNDL can be 5x or not. So consider subscribing to my channel for future videos and timely updates. I do research a lot of different stocks and share the information with you all. Click the like button because it takes me a while to do this research and upload this video and share this information with you so your like is greatly appreciated and also share this video with your friends and family so they can take an advantage of the analysis and research that i have done i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research before you buy sndl or any other stock that i talk about uh, i'm sharing this information hoping that it'll help you making informed decision and helps you in the, your research as well so do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell sndl now without further delay let's talk about SNDL the stock is trading at one dollar and 13 cents the stock was down one dollar 1.74 percent in last trading session on February 5th one of the things that I wanted to share with you is I saw this uh, this barcoding pattern right here so if you take a look the stock was trading between one dollar and 13 cents 14 cents 13 cents 14 cents the same way 12 cents 13 cents 12 cents 13 cents and after that was trading once again back to $1.13 to 14 cents level. And this is a barcoding pattern. Now, this is a similar pattern, barco barcoding pattern. And a few uh, subscribers also reached out to me. And we saw a similar pattern in Zomedica Corp, ticker symbol ZOM. And I did this video a couple of days back. So if you would like to check that out, uh, go ahead and check it out on my channel as well. But it was precisely $1.13 to 14 cents level for ZOM stock as well. And this is kind of a triggered by some sort of logical algorithm or maybe some sort of API that is triggering these trades or not. I could not find a lot more information about this bar, barcoding pattern. I have invested in Zomedica Corp. ZOM stock is trading at $1.91. Now, by no means I'm saying that uh, s and can go up to that level uh, just because of the barcoding pattern. Zomedica had its own reasons and why it went to $1.91. 91 cents also they're both different companies they are trading in two different uh, uh, two different sectors and they have nothing to do with their business models or anything along those lines so do your own due diligence so once again this is a panty stop the volume is low the average volume is 458 million uh, but the volume on February 5th was 407 million so the volume is lower and we'll talk about that a little bit more but the stock had a great run if you look at the five-day chart the stock was up 13 percent for one month, the stock was up almost 64%. And for six months, the stock was uh, up more than 109%. So the stock has pretty good run up. Uh, the company has the market cap of $1.59 billion. 52 week range is 14 cents to $1.70. And the, the company is revenue positive. $12 million in revenue in Q3. In Q2, it was 20.19 million. In Q1, the revenue was 14 million. However, the company is burning a lot more cash every quarter. $44 million almost in Q1 2020 that the company has net negative income, net negative income of $60 million in Q2 2020 and Q3 negative $71.39 million. Company has enough cash on hand. Uh, in Q3, Three, the company had 21 million, but they added more, they raised more capital, and we'll talk about it later, later on this uh, in this video. However, let's take a look at the stock once again. The one-year target is 30 cents. The stock is trading way, way beyond the target, but many times analysts do not frequently update the target for the stock. There are some catalysts and so on and so forth. Three are saying hold, and one is saying underperform. So there is some concerns from the analyst, and we'll go into more detail there as well. But as I was talking about the volume, 
volume, the volume was pretty high on February 1st and the stock was trading at $1.25 as high as $1.25 and the volume was consistently higher for January 28th, 29th and February 1st and the stock went all the way from 50 cents up to $1.25 level and since then there was some discussion around getting that there was some, some restriction in trading in the stock and whatnot and the volume uh, went down and the volume was 976 million the next day on February 3rd the volume was 979 million and the volume once again was 600 and 400 million now if you take a look at the stock uh, price the stock price is fluctuating between 90 cents to one dollar and 30 cents level so there is uh, so it is trading in a very very narrow uh, margin in terms of the highs and lows in terms of the stock price so that's one of the things that you want to consider looking at the chart if you take a look there are spikes that I see during the day trading as well in uh, during the day if you take a look how the stock was trading um, and uh, $1.07 and when uh, the stock went up to $1.20 it was as low as uh, 93 cents uh, on on this trading session but the stock opened up at $1.19 and closed at $1.14 so in that sense it's a narrow price point as to how the stock is trading uh, if you take a look at the RSI the RSI looks pretty fair it's not a heavy bot or heavy sold condition 56 is in general um, uh, it's a balanced and fair condition so uh, we'll see uh, you you might want to see uh, the further guidance in pre-market volume and how the stock is trading on Monday so that's one of the thing if you want to trade if you have bought this stock there might be a possibility that the stock can go higher and in next week and depends up once again depends upon the volume for SNDL the way we have seen if the volume is higher the stock goes higher and higher so if the volume doubles up let's say from 400 million if the volume all of a sudden spikes up to 800 or 900 million um, next week during one trading session there is a possibility that the stock can uh, go higher from this point onwards that there are a few things as to why the stock went high uh, and this all the stocks were broad winners in last month in the hope for new administration in the White House the shares of SNDL uh, the Canadian uh, grower company jumped 27 percent over a two-day span on January 6 and 7 as investors responded favorably for Democrats taking over the US Senate and that was one of the big win for not only SNDL for the other stock in the same business operations the, sh the share faded over next two weeks but then surged at the end of the month as the wall street bad traders uh, spied it as a potential short squeeze and that was one of the reason and i wanted to discuss why the stock went up so that's one of the reason uh, as we talked about the democrats took over the office the second one is the wall street bats and the short squeeze the potentially the stock finished up 37 percent on january 28th and it doubled up in that trading session so that was a huge huge spike in terms of the stock price the volume was strong enough uh, over 2 billion shares as we looked into it and it prompted the trading restrictions from uh, Robin Hood uh, and, and also with about 15% afloat sold short and uh, low share price the stock was uh, uh, one of the favorite stock on the trading platform the following day the company filed 100 million worth of stock wisely taking the advantage of the pop uh, so the company raised some capital now it surged again on February 1st which seemed to be the end of the short squeeze so the company uh, got 610 million dollars in unrestricted cash which is good for the company good for the operations they can invest more into their uh, their operations in upcoming uh, upcoming quarters and whatnot so that's a great thing about the company now one more thing is the Canada based company currently has 610 million dollars in free cash as I mentioned the company is burning through a lot of cash quarter by quarter 60 to 70 million dollars so the company needs a cash if the company needs enough cash to burn through in next upcoming quarters the company has a good potential to be profitable they can expand their market uh, market base in United States and Canada and other parts of the globe um, and uh, one more thing I want you to also note is they've received an approval for Nasdaq listing transfer to allow for 180 additional 
day as a compliance period. As previously reported, was notified by the NASDAQ on May 12, 2020, that the bid price for the common shares were not in compliance with the NASDAQ's minimum bid requirement. As you know, the company needs to, the stock needs to trade $1 or above uh, for to be uh, to be in this NASDAQ uh, stock market. And that's the compliance. And at that time, the company had until December 28, 2020 to regain compliance. The anticipated extension will allow the company to regain the compliance for uh, for next up until June 26, 2021, as to when they'll have to trade above $1 price for 10 consecutive business days in order to get rid of the risk of getting delisted from NASDAQ. The company is doing pretty good. Let's take a look at how the company is doing in terms of the pricing. The company has traded almost three days about $1, which is a good thing. If the company stays about, the stock stays about $1 range, uh, it is getting rid of the, the the risk of getting delisted. So if that happens, there might be another pop, uh, thinking that the investor will have a lot more confidence. There will be financial institutions. They, if they're buying, they have a lot more confidence. Uh, but one thing you also want to notice is the company may offer more stocks. If the company offer a company has stock offering in future, that may impact the price of the stock. So all in all, if you are invested, there might be good times ahead if the company stays if the stock stays about one dollar it may pop a little bit more so you want to do your own due diligence and research once again i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research consider subscribing to my channel uh, for future videos and timely updates click on the notification bell share this video with your friends and family and click on the like button because it takes me a while to do the research and post this video i hope you enjoy this video